last uh, Wednesday about 12. Weather is holding, but rain is forecast. I don't know. I got my truck loaded for no wet, no rain. I'll have to rush around and do all kinds of stuff. You remember uh, about a month ago I did five or six pocket knives for a guy. He's a duck installer. I sharpened, I think there was three bench maids of sog and I can't remember, maybe a Gerber. Well, he's tried to sharpen this one himself on a stone. It's really dull. He just never has had much practice with stones, that's all. He cuts really sophisticated nylon type webbing, strapping to hold up the deck work with. These knives have to be toothy. I mean like 36 grit toothy to cut this stuff. I had a sample of it and that's the only thing I could ever do to get him to cut this particular type of strapping that he uses. So I got two customers, I mean one customer with two knives as I head to the market. Now you remember this, I did one of these for him at the same time. It's got a nice blade edge on that side and it's serrated on this side. This is a duck knife. He cuts duck work with it and he straps it up without nylon strapping. Well the first one if you remember was in terrible terrible shape but well, this one's relatively new and it's got a, like a razor edge on it. It's got a really nice edge but he wants to remove the serrations. That's what we did to the last one and sharpen the last. This one just needs the serrations moved, I mean removed and sharpened. So I got a little project when I get to the farmer's market. Plus I got to pick up a lawnmower blade in a few minutes on my way. I'll get back to you. Sauce. I'm having a good day. Henkel. Before the market even sets up. I got, what's that, seven? And I got Two pruners, a head strimmer, and two lawnmower blades. So, things are shaping up good for Wednesday afternoon before the market. Well, we got about 10 minutes to go to blast off. We got some breeze. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen vendors today. Maybe a coffee guy. He might be eighteen if he shows up. It's uh, it was terrible looking an hour ago when we first got it, but now the sun has popped out. It's pretty damn nice, other than the breeze, which is which is nice. I just hope we don't even pick up any. We get showers in the afternoon. That's sort of what they call it for. All right, we're ramping to go. Well, our first customer is a pair of head strimmers. I just got through with it. Head strimmers. And then we have two pamper chefs. Now we got an old Dexter 1376. It's a carbon knife. I'm going to do a sharpening and a cleanup. This is the perform. Well, so far we've done about 28 knives, four mower blades, two hedge trimmers, three or four pruners, and one loper. And we got a lull in the action. It's 5.30. I got some nice strawberries. Got some nice, I think that's all I got, strawberries. My leader's been looking for a knife person, but she can't find her, I guess. You didn't find her? I guess she's got a hat or something on. I don't recognize anybody. Bowser. Look at Bowser. I'm finally home. And when I dropped off the lawnmower blades, and the two little pruners, I got another set of loafers. The guy said, I forgot to give you these and these. 
So I got grass trimmers and three more pruners, it looks like. One, two, three. Knives never end, it looks like. Tomorrow, I got to pick up 10 kitchen knives and a K-bar. Then I got to pick up two 12-inch Bowie knives, some kind of military knife and a pocket knife. And then I got a new restaurant I'm shopping in. I got I to gotta buy three big slicers and three chef's knives and switch them out. It's not exchange, it's just a replace and sharpen the next day. A hamburger place. Maybe, maybe one of them fancy tomato slicers, I'm not sure. But it sounds like a tomato slicer too. I'll uh, have to get back to you, I guess. Look at this. I better might as well show you this. This is a Bow Wow Meow. Banana peanut butter pup cake. How about that? Treat for dog. Isn't that a fancy thing in there? Uh -huh, that's right. Where's that honey at? Any cooler? Oh. From the market, I got a gathering of strawberries. I got some three ships coffee. I can't even say what that is. Moro Lot 1. Columbia. Mm-hmm. From the honey lady, I got pure natural sunshine farms and aspirate honey. And peaches from South Carolina. They're not quite ripe. You gotta put them in a brown paper bag for three or four days and that'd be just unbelievable. Look at them babies. Look at that ticket right there. That's a ticket right there, eh? We've already eaten two or three of these. A gathering of Pungo strawberries. Pungo is a local area here where they grow a lot of stuff. Okay. That's it, as far as I know. Oh, wait a minute, where's our lamb at? You put it up? We got lamb kebabs. There's a lady who sells lamb. These are these are pieces of lamb kebabs, you know, like chopped up. Uh, what do you call it? What's the word I'm looking for? Chunks. Chunks, lamb chunks. I think that might be dinner tomorrow night. My cats are starving to death. Boo boo! What are you doing, boo boo? You look like some scratching his boo boo. Yeah, hell no. I'm looking for my damn supper. What's wrong with you? You've been starving me to death for five hours. I ain't had no dinner. Where's the, where's the little munchkin at? There's a couple of munchkins missing. Alright, that's it. I'll see you. I gotta get in the recliner. After I have a. After I feed all these critters, cat food, dog food, Big old Jack. Yeah, what are you doing in the dark in there, Big old Jack? Huh? You the Big old Jack? Yeah, my Indians, my little Indian, my Big old Jack Indian. Yeah, I'm glad you got home, Daddy. We've been missing you for four hours. That's right. We've got balls everywhere. We can't go out. It's too dark. I ain't going to play no ball tonight. You'll be mad, I know, but that's okay. You'll get, you'll get over it. You see, get messed with your balls? You got jealous, didn't you? You're bad, big old jack. For a circus train dog, you're bad. All right, that's it. Let me shut this window, and I'll, uh, I mean, blind, and I'll get back to you tomorrow. I think the mumbles man went to the land and island and found a lot of change today. That's the only report I got. A lot of change. Like four, five, six bucks worth. If I find it, I'll put it in the back here. I do have the Mumbles Man's nut. All green clad. Lots of pennies. He did a lot of digging today. Yes, sir. He was on a Klondike. Let's see if he says what he had. Oh, crap. 
Six bucks, a little over six bucks, he said, in change. That ain't bad, six smackers. I have a picture of the uh, stuff I got to pick up tomorrow. <coughs> Excuse me. Two big 12 inch buoys, military type saw, I mean, uh, Tonto style knife and a pocket knife of some sort. Let's see if I can find you the exchange stuff on here. Stand by. There's the exchange stuff. It's three chef's knives, looks like two 10 inch and an 8 inch, and three serrated slicers. Then they got some kind of cutter. It looks to be in terrible shape. I don't know what that cuts, but it's only got four blades. That's what it looks like. Something smashes down Nemco. That's a grill cleaner they want sharpened. Oh, that's a picture of a tomato slicer I sent them. So that's it. End of video. See you tomorrow. I hope before afternoon spin, the tide's low in the afternoon, like 3 or something tomorrow. So if I get all this crap out of the way, I should be able to make it. Not sure whether it be the Landonada or on the Chesapeake Bay, but hopefully someplace.